Welcome. Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. First things first, do you guys notice this? Do you see this wide ass angle? Big shout out to Mike the Compass for recommending me a brand new lens and also shout out to my dude Kais Omar. So this is probably going to be the new setup from now on this lens. I really like how it gets like from here to here, it gets almost everything on this side of the room except for my other rack over there. But it looks sick, right? But you guys aren't here for that. You guys are here for a custom, or at least that's what somebody told me. In today's video, I'll be doing a time-lapse slash tutorial on these Ultra Boost Customs. If you guys are wondering where I got the inspiration for these, I gotta give a huge shout out to my dude Meek Shoes. Some of you guys may know him from his YouTube channel. He does sneaker related videos. So if you guys wanna check that out, I will leave his links down below in the description. And speaking of the description, I will leave links to this t-shirt as well as this watch right here. If you guys are interested, I know a lot of people ask me in the comment section. So I'll make it easy for you guys. Check the description down below. Before we get to customizing these, I wanted to mention that I was debuting this kind of custom right here on my Snapchat like weeks ago. So if you guys want to keep updated on my Snapchat, my name is Bay Area Shoehead on there. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sneakerhead in the Bay and Twitter at Bay Area Shoehead. I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy. I really love doing this custom. I feel like these came out awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And with that being said, y'all already know what time it is. It's time to sit back, relax, and eat snacks. Let's go. To start this video off, we are going to start with the materials list. As you guys can see, everything is laid out in front of you. This custom is pretty simple, so you don't need a lot of materials. Just to make it clear, you guys don't necessarily have to use a white Ultra Boost in order to do an Ultra Boost custom, but being that these come with a white base, it's a lot easier to throw some paint on them. The next thing we'll be using are some Princeton Art Paint Brushes. Now, everything that you see from here and beyond can be found on AngelusDirect.com. The link will be down below in the description if you guys want to shop, except for the container right there on the side. Anyways, in this situation, Situation, we're only going to be using one brush and I like to use the one half just because that's the biggest brush it gets the best coverage in my opinion and that's something that you look for when you're going to do a custom like this GAC 900 that is definitely important when doing this custom if you guys don't know about GAC 900 basically to sum it up it's a fabric painting medium meaning that it will be able to keep the same texture that you guys have right now that soft mesh when you guys are painting it if you guys throw straight paint onto this mesh it will get a little bit tough it will get a little bit brittle and in all honesty that doesn't feel good on a sneaker so if you guys want to keep your sneakers soft and be able to wear this thing I would highly recommend using GAC 900 I decided to go with red Angelus acrylic leather paint just because I love the color red and I like the way that it pops on this specific shoe but like I said since this is a custom you guys are able to do whatever your heart desires so with all that being said let's get right into this video before we begin, I wanted to mention that it is extremely important that your shoe is clean before adding anything to it. Now, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of Ultra Boost cleaning tutorials online, so make sure to check that out. If I find something that I like and trust, I will leave it in the description down below. So I said it once, and I'm going to say it again. Make sure your sneakers are clean. For demonstration purposes, I'll show you guys what I like to do when it comes to these containers. So as you guys can see on the left side, I already marked my container. Now these marks indicate how much paint I should pour and how much GAC 900 I should pour. I do a 50-50 ratio, so I try to make these about the same. So that's exactly what I will be doing with this bottle right here. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. You just have to eyeball it. If you guys want it to be perfect, you can always do that, of course. But like I said, it doesn't always have to be 100% to scale. Just make sure you do this somewhat right. So this looks about right to me. So 50% paint, 50% GAC 900. So now that you guys have your mixtures ready, all you have to do is start taking out your insoles. Now I already have these insoles taken out, but I will take out these shoe trees. So take this out. If you guys are curious on where to purchase these, this can be found on Angelus Direct's website. This is an Angelus brand shoe tree. So there you guys have it. All you're going to do is just apply some nice coats with this. It should take about 
one and a half coats or maybe two coats I don't like to drench the mesh because that's how you make it look inconsistent and it gets all blotchy but when it comes to something like this instead of like painting it like this what I like to do is kind of dab it so that allows the paint to saturate this material kind of evenly and it's not going to be perfect when you put on your first layer it would be nice if it was perfect but you're gonna have to do a little bit of touch-ups here and there I'll show you guys what I'm talking about but I'm gonna get right to this and I hope it helps you guys out let's get it Yo, watch out for people who call shotgun Chances are they're not fun Haven't put out my album yet but it got done I'm too busy traveling the country in the dot sun I went back to a flip phone Most of the time it's just sitting by my hip bone Cause I don't need that shit I just want a pretty junkie I can relapse with So I can stare at her eyes Feeling like I'm sitting in the chair in the sky I love playing with her hair when I'm high I'll take forbidden fruit any day over American pie When real life hits her up, she don't care to reply I'm the same way, you'll never see me wearing a tie Cherry casket with you and be buried alive Me and her playing truth, the day that we die You don't need me, you don't need me and I don't Just so you guys know um, when you are doing this custom, make sure you don't saturate this area when you paint because the threading right there is very close. If you guys saturate it, it will bleed right through here and it's not going to look all white like it's supposed to. So definitely make sure to be cautious around this area. And also, it's a good idea to just wet this whole thing all in one. Don't let it dry like this. I'm going to wet it um, all around. So I'm going to get to that. Let it dry when it's all coated. I think I need you, but if it works, then we shouldn't need to. You don't need me, you don't need me. And I don't think I need you, but if it works, then we shouldn't need to. Yo, pessimist people are pesticides. Let them cry, they need to be left to dry. When you guys get to this part, I usually use a rubber band or two rubber bands actually in order to peel these back because you are going to have to get into this mesh right here because it does peek through right here. So I like to dye this whole mesh uh, with the red or paint this mesh with the red. So in order to do that, we're going to chain two rubber bands, um, attach them to the ends of here and then connect it to the other side so then it opens up the cages like that. What we have to do is put this hoop in like so Then we are going to connect this to the other side right up here like that. And that's how you guys keep the cages peeled back so it's a little bit easier for you guys. So now it's time to attack these pieces. All right, everybody, so I laid down everything on the top part, not the sock liner yet, but before we get to the sock liner, we are going to start drying the uppers with a heat gun and setting it in with the GAC. The GAC 900 needs to reach a certain amount of uh, heat for it to set, so that's why we are going to be using a heat gun for this process. Before we start, I wanted to mention that you got to be very careful over by the wings and all this plastic stuff because this stuff will mess up if you guys heat this too much. So make sure you're kind of like brushing it through, brushing it through. Don't stay in one spot too long and don't be too close to the shoe. Could use some peace of mind, gave a piece of my mind to niggas who really be testing my peace all the time from the city. But so I let these things dry overnight. I did not hit the sock liner yet. We're about to get right to it. But before we hit that, I wanted to let you guys know why I decided to use the GAC 900 mixture on the little tab on the front. The tab on the front of the tongue is 3M and the GAC 900 cuts down the paint. So it's not a full solid color going on top of that 3M. So pretty much when I went over the 3M area, it allowed the 3M to still show through the paint. And I thought that that was kind of dope. So I decided to go that way. Right now, what we have to do is just cover the sock liner, heat it up with the heat gun again, let it sit and then we'll be good to go. But it's 
said it's all good. Did it all good, but it's all good. But it's but 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 it's all they good. They say you can't see the forest through the trees. Way too many leaves to make a nigga leave and quit his dreams. Boy just want that destination. They ain't in it for the journey. Adversity really bringing out the worst, but it don't concern me. I got a fire burning, my light up and burning all day. Always on the clock, just trying to get it in all ways. Time is all we got, but it's limits. Don't show my limits. I'm just a little nigga that's stuck in the tall maze. Really be sane in the brain, but I guess it's okay. Running shit and killing motherfuckers. Guess I'm OJ. Spilling OJ, getting down from hoes with no name. Knowing I need some road gain, and I ain't got no game. USA is a comedian, stop telling jokes. Elect a rich man who makes you even more broke. Pay your taxes, do what I say. We'll kill or frame you if you get in the way. Fuck it, I do this 9 to 5 until the cancer come Then I go Heisenberg and have you rookies looking dumb Let the Fed search high and low to the wild pop And let the people know we roll into the models high I told my mama I promise to get it all The whole world is yours, mama, you deserve a ball I told my people hold it down, I need an army Cause once they hear rolling, they all gon' hit on Tommy, hey Y'all must not know how I do Well, let me show you how to spit raps Till they dumb like Badu Do, do Y'all must not know how I do Murder, murder like Jaru I'm a survivor, my dude Do, do, down These commodities gotta be mediocrity How did he go? From local rapper to accept my apology From the start I had a plan Middle finger to doubt Feeling like the new Pac I'll change the world with my mouth So let me tell you what I think When these dudes try to sing If a boxer don't box He don't get in the ring If you a rapper and a singer And you don't do your thing Well we laugh at you And all the bad sound that you bring The rapper who never stopped English master verb pervert All the money goes to head Converting brains in a shirt Lyrical bullets Straight balls Bending thoughts with my words Coming back Fuck friends Too much shit I deserve I know The locals talking He really think he the one I'll be the last thing standing when this mushroom cloud is done I'ma blow up and throw up these gang signs until I'm dead So they can argue over if I was the greatest in they had, hey Y'all must not know how I do Well, let me show you how to spit raps till they dumb like Bob